Hi! Today I'm using my mic from my headphones because clearly the mic that I've been using isn't that good. It's snowing a lot outside and episode 6 basically was about the fight. Remember, it was getting a little dry in the, in the plot. With that being said, let's just get into it. Excited. Oh. Oh. This looks like young Baron, but he looks so much bigger. Master. I kind of hope this whole episode is the Baron's backstory. I would love, love, love that. I kind of wish I read the description now. So I have a feeling it's going to be a flashback episode, which excites the hell out of me. Although it could mean that Baron's life is flashing before his eyes. Either way, if it's a Baron episode, it's going to be a good episode. I hope. Uh, uh. Uh, uh. I feel like my dreams were just shattered. Like... That wasn't even two minutes of Baron's backstory, and now it's just back to Jojo and Speedwagon. Like, that was just a lot of hype, I guess. <laughs> Dio! The Joker won't budge. <laughs> I don't wear them often anymore, but I've got like bags full of Jokers. Because I just enjoy that grungy aesthetic look, I guess. And I know that feeling when the choker just won't but <laughs> It's probably a very different feeling, but I don't know. I don't know. For once, Jojo actually said something funny. He's still not a gentleman, but does he really need to be one? Either I like him or I hate him, but it's been, I'm on episode 7 now and I still don't like him. Don't bite yourself, bad girl. Can we just appreciate the Baron's back arch there? It was like so seamless. His arm came off in episode 5 and then it seemed to be healed in episode 6 and now he's doing flips and back arches like it's no big deal. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder who is gonna be right. Is it going to be Jojo who thinks the chain is below Baron, or Baron who thinks it's above? Baron is wiser and has more experience, but Jojo is also not fighting and he's just watching at this point. Oh, they're both right. <laughs> I'll strangle you both at once. I want Baron to be set free, but Jojo can just stay the way he is. He's just getting choked this whole episode, and not in the Dio way where he gets turned into a, a vampire, zombie, demon thing. Maybe he'll die, but he, I know he won't, and that's just... The saddest part of this whole anime is that he's not gonna die anytime soon. <laughs> oh no! Baron! Oh my gosh! <laughs> I'm not entirely sure what just happened there. I'm pretty sure Baron just broke the chain, but. The fact that Speedwagon is just looking, he's not even looking at Jojo struggling that much. 
maybe just like a little bit, but like he's like 90% there for Baron and 10% there for Jojo. And he's just like looking at him like, oh my gosh, I never got to confess to him. I never got to confess to Baron how much I appreciate his mentorship. Speedwagon seems to be the comedic relief of this season, which has been lacking. Baron is a little funny, but he's, I don't think he's trying to be funny. I think that's just my dark side showing. Joe! 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 No, no. So, I thought Baron had like, just cut the chain, but I think he shielded himself in front of Jojo, and I think his body is in half, and I... They fixed his arm, but they can't they fit the torso and the lower body, I don't know. Oh my god. I'm not gonna cry, but like, I feel like I could if I wanted to. I hope he lives. Buffering a little bit. Can we just take a minute to observe this image? Jojo, who appears to be still attached to the chain, but I'm not entirely sure about that. Either way, he got knocked out. Baron's arm and the arm that Speedwagon spent so much body heat repairing. Freshly grown in, let's say. And now, all that was for nothing. Because in the end, some guy from his past said he had to die for this person. Which is, I'm assuming is Jojo. Getting emotional. It's also buffering, so that's also... I love my internet so much. Love my internet. It's so good. The fact that my Wi-Fi is preventing me from finding this out is just really, really making me anxious. <laughs> just load! Load! I need to know! This is torture, it's Baron, please don't be dead. Okay, I'm gonna rewind it a couple seconds. I almost don't want to rewatch this part. Oh buffered in the same place. This is buffering for what feels like an eternity. It's killing me. I can't. 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 Reset my Wi-Fi and everything, but I also don't really want to know if he's dead or not at this point. I have gotten way too attached to him. It's just tedious, like, no one's got good Wi-Fi, especially when it's a blizzard outside, but it's, it's just the timing is awful. It's just so bad. I need to know. Baron, Baron, please be okay. Please be okay. Please be okay, Baron. Please be okay. 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 No! As soon as I put the subtitles on, it buffers in the same place. Getting really impatient here. Ugh. Just hope that Baron can at least say a few last words before. This is actually like really upsetting to me because I got way too attached to him. But no matter what, I'm not going to the dub. Don't care how long it takes. Buffering. Why? 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 I don't understand. I don't understand anything that's gone on in this episode so far. I'm like, I'm not okay. <laughs> this is the worst thing that could happen to me while I'm watching this is that like my, my favorite character, one of my favorite characters from the show so far, appears to have died pretty tragically and I can't find out if he's actually dead because my Wi-Fi it's killing me so much I don't think anyone gets how much this is really getting to me I'm not gonna cry I'm not gonna cry <gasps> I can't even speak oh my god I partially blame the weather and the Wi-Fi for my reaction just now, but that was a lot of suspense. 
months and I don't even know if Baron is going to live but at least he's got a few last words in him and here they are. I'm basically speedwagon in this episode. I'm just in the bath like freaking out. <laughs> That's a lot of hamming. No, no, his he's got white he's got white mustache and eyebrows and looks like he's I guess his hominid light was actually keeping him young. He's given his life to Jojo and that's really upsetting. He looks like so old now. What's up? <laughs> um, the speed wagon on this. It's like, why are you doing this to him? Like, why? Can't you just live by yourself? This got really dark, like I thought it was gonna be a full-on backstory about him and then he just kinda... Uh, I, I don't even know anymore. I don't know anything anymore. I don't know, like if Dio has the power to, from the mask to give this thing power and Baron could do it, but Baron died is that similar to what happened to Dio when he first got changed? Like the person that changed Dio into a vampire, like choked him and turned to ash and kind of just died. Seems that giving the power is gonna kill them, but with Dio, because he's immortal, he doesn't have to worry about it, but like, what about the person that made him immortal? Like, who is that and when are they coming back? I'm curious. There is nothing wrong with that, Jojo. Where did his shirt go? Like... He's got big muscles and all, but I still don't even find him the least bit attractive. Oh, that's, that's disappointing, but pretty much what they're leading up to. I keep forgetting about that little boy too. So the Baron is now living inside Jojo. Jojo definitely seems a bit more badass now that he's got Baron's power, but I still don't think he's gentlemanly and I still don't like him. I agree with the monster, he's still kind of a brat, but maybe if he has Baron living inside him, maybe he can change that. Is he crying? He should be crying. <laughs> Exactly. That look of sass on his face was just like gold. Baron with white hair doesn't look so bad. He looks he looks decent. Looks like the blizzard outside. <laughs> He's gonna leave him behind. He's not even gonna bury his body. Well, did, Baron did say not to make too big a fuss out of it, so I guess that's just respecting his wishes, but still. Am I really never gonna see him again? Is Baron really gone forever? I, I had so much faith in him, but he'd be able to make it. And yet, Jojo is emerging victorious. What is that kid still doing there? I don't remember. But like this kid is going to need so much therapy. <laughs> Wake me up when Baron wakes up, please. This Wi-Fi is upsetting me more than Baron's death. Okay. Thursday tells a kid to look away and now they're just like, oh look at this half body that can talk somehow. I'm getting a little anxious right now. Gonna Pick up where we left off, crossing my fingers. Sayonara, Zeppeli-san. No! 
I don't want to say it, but no. <laughs> okay. I am sad that I am still not ready to say goodbye to Baron. I thought this was going to be a flashback episode, but I am glad that Dio is now getting more screen time, so it makes sense why the Baron would be chosen to be the one to do that, but it was just really sad and I wish he had a bit more time with him. That being said, I'm glad that Dio's back. Don't know what he's doing with that child. Alright, so I'm starting to get hyped again. It's good, it's good. <laughs> Alright, so I'm starting to get hyped again. It's good, it's good. Alright, so I'm starting to get hyped again. It's good, it's good. Alright, so I'm starting to get hyped again. It's good, it's good. Alright, so I'm starting to get hyped again. It's good, it's good. Alright, so I'm starting to get hyped again. It's good, it's good. Alright, so I'm starting to get hyped again. It's good, it's good. Alright, so I'm starting to get hyped again. It's good, it's good. Alright, so I'm starting to get hyped again. It's good, it's good. Alright, so I'm starting to get hyped again. It's good, it's good. Alright, so I'm starting to get hyped again. It's good, it's good. Alright, so I'm starting to get hyped again. It's or raise the child as like a, a disciple of his or whatnot. Understandable. Okay, okay. <laughs> wow. I feel like Dio knew that was gonna happen, which is why he put up that whole act. <laughs> <laughs> A tragedy of your own choosing. Why is the kid still there? Was that all the screen time that Dio's gonna get this episode? Maybe it's that Baron just died. He's got Baron within him. <laughs> they already are. Adam san! <laughs> Mr. Adams? No, I wouldn't even notice that this kid is gone. I like I feel bad for this kid. This kid's gonna go through so much. Just saying. Like just send him home before while well, he still has some of his sanity left. Oh, I thought they were gonna leave the kid with Mr. Adams. <laughs> <laughs> just the act of Jojo just holding on to the taunt. He didn't even turn around, he just knows it's there because Baron's given him this wisdom. I feel like Jojo is going to indirectly, like, basically do the same thing that Dio was doing and, like, collect people's abilities or souls or whatever traits, anything at all. By the end, they'll have both devoured so many people in so many different ways. Hmm. I did question the writing near the beginning, but like a lot of animes, it takes at least three to five episodes. In this case, it took about that, and the past two episodes have been slow, but it seems to be progressing now into something bigger. And even though I'm already mourning Baron, I, I don't, I'm not gonna wait to grieve, I'm grieving. I wore black today and I'm glad I did because I am sad. I usually put the fun in funeral, but I, it was really, well you saw what happened. You saw how I reacted, like it's kind of hard to imagine because I waited like until I came back and like by the time I'd come back I hadn't accepted that Baron was actually gone because he was still on the screen. I was like, he's on the screen, he's still alive in my head, but I kept telling myself that and now he's not here and they're all emo about it and I'm emo about it. I had this molecule of hope that Baron would just suddenly be like, never mind, it's, it, I'm fine, don't worry about anything, but <laughs> Step on that tongue and just like extend it like one of those exercise pants. <laughs> like he's just stretching his hamstrings at this point and this shot is actually quite 
ったあとにレンもうその通りだ街外れにゾンビがはびこりつつあるふざけりかしかしスローなけり<笑> It's slow for a fact to Jojo You should know a lot about that Dyer just did this over split. Or it looked like an over split. Oh. I have been waiting for someone to slap Jojo in that way. Jojo. Well, I don't think he deserves it how Baron with him he does. So technically the Baron isn't leaving, and that means I have to be. Well, that's clever writing. Because <sighs> now I'm drawn in because now both sides contain something that I like. Well, it did before, but I just wanted Jojo to disappear. And now I'm not entirely sure if I want him to because Baron seems to be inside him. <laughs> it seems that this was premeditated. It seems that Baron, like. Had this person like ready, knowing that he'd probably have to sacrifice himself from Jojo because he's too stupid to do anything on his own in case he had to basically take a bullet for Jojo, which he kind of did. So, this seems really premeditated, and now I'm questioning a lot about a lot. And I'm starting to like it, but I don't like that I like it, and I'm still on. The other side. Knew it. <gasps> he is so cute. He reminds me of. <laughs> oh, if you don't get the reference, that's totally fine. But if you do, talk to me. Talk to me. I'm dying right now. <laughs> It's like Baron knew that Jojo just couldn't do it on his own. <laughs> I didn't think I would be that accurate about that prediction. Baron just knew. Unless I don't know why he has such faith in Jojo. The fact that the teacher outlived Baron is just so humiliating. So <laughs> Oh, maybe this wasn't premeditated. Both evil and staggering. Is that Dio's castle? Yes, it is. Yes. <gasps> is that a uh, girl from the intro that Dio kissed? Maybe. Just maybe. And with that, we be continued. Okay, final thoughts. I can't really tell whose side who is on. And I like that. I still have very mixed feelings about this and like this anime in general. Rest in peace, Baron or at least his body. I assume that he's living inside Jojo, but I'm not entirely sure. I just don't know if it's him or the power or both. Not happy about it, but I've accepted that Baron is dead and we have new characters coming in. So it's kind of like one door closes and three more doors just opened and one just unlocked. So I'm kind of pumped to see what's gonna happen. Did take a while. I will say that the first six episodes did not leave me feeling the way I feel now. Really looking forward to proceeding with this project and it's it's been quite fun so far. And I'm actually getting into it now. I won't really have a firm opinion until the end of season one. Because as you can see in this episode, things change quite quickly. I could love a character one episode and hate them the next, but so far, my feelings towards this cast have been 
pretty consistent. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, share, whatever you want, all the basic YouTube crap. Thank you.